this episode, I'm going to show you how to play the hybrid rudiment called the Herta. First thing we need to understand about this hybrid rudiment is the note value and how it's being played. In this instance, we're going to play 16th notes and 8th notes. So the pattern goes like this. Two 16th notes, the fast notes, followed by two 8th notes, the slow notes. Exercise 1A will be played at 70 BPMs. Let's go. Once you get the slower tempo down and you know you feel like your sticking is really solid and you've got dynamics consistently throughout both hands, you'll bump it up to well whatever tempo you feel most comfortable playing, but I'll play it next at 100 BPMs. So instead of playing 16th notes and 8th notes for slow and fast notes, we'll play 16th notes for slow notes and 32nd notes for fast notes. Here it is at 100 BPMs. point you'll have your hands nice and tight with the click track or without it we'll move on to the feet the feet are playing the exact same pattern nothing has changed we'll start it off at 70 bpms <laughs> Same thing speed wise with our metronome that we did with our hands onto our feet. So we started at 70 BPMs and now we'll try it at 100 BPMs. This is what it's going to sound like. If you're feeling confident in your playing and you've mastered 70 BPM and 100 BPM both on the snare individually and on the kick drum individually, I would start to layer it with the right and left hand on different playing surfaces. Because this pattern is in a triplet feel, it technically is still in 4-4. So the right hand will be playing the pulse of quarter notes. So you'll be counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Your feet are playing the, the herta, your right hand's playing the quarter note pulse. The left hand is gonna be playing beat three on the snare. Here's what it sounds like at 100 BPM. <coughs> That concludes this vlog lesson on the hybrid rudiment, the Herta. Thanks for checking in and look out for me on the next one.